Hey man, I don't mind you filming me, but just keep your hands out of your pocket while you me. You know I don't got nothing on me. I don't know that. Come on. We don't pay you to be a Come on. And they're all trying safety. to hurt you. Officer safety. You we, we don't we don't pay pocket. you for that. I need you to keep your hand out of your pocket. What are you going to do if I don't take it off? I'm going to detain you. Fine, that's right. That's you, right. Listen, I'm in a public sidewalk. Yeah, I'm in a public sidewalk. What's your name and badge? What's your name and badge? What's your name and badge? does not want to be recorded. What is your name and badge? So do you understand that? What is your name and badge? Okay. I'm asking for his name and badge. Put your money back. Okay. Go ahead, That's arrest me. Be Go ahead, arrest me. Arrest me. Leave what you gonna do? Hall. What you gonna Leave do? City hall what now. you gonna do? I'm not you don't wanna do your you job. I gave you. You don't like to do your job. I told you. What you need I to told do. you. Out. Go ahead, Leave. touch me. Turn around. Go ahead. You're assaulting me right now. No, I'm. The Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Listen to me. Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Stop. No, I didn't stop nothing. I told you. No, sir. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey everybody, I don't usually do compilations or compilations, but this one was too good to miss. These three videos were sent to me by DDDF, so shout out to you. Usually I consider it a gem when you find one cop absolutely losing it and arresting you for their safety. But today we got three, so let's jump into the first. From Luzerne County Cop of the Month. On December 13th, 2023, Luzerne County Cop of the Month spots a traffic stop. He takes out his camera and approaches to engage in his First Amendment right to free press and public photography. He was ultimately arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, simply for filming and refusing to take his hands out of his pockets in the dead of winter. This is the Hazleton Police Department from Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I guess they didn't read the memo or the law stating that police officers can't be victims of disorderly conduct. And with no other complaining parties around, they walked themselves right into a lawsuit. But these cops would try and mince the law, saying it's legal to record video, but not record audio. It all comes down to one thing. Officer safety. Hey man, man, I don't mind you filming me, but just keep your hands out of your pocket. Like me? You know I don't got nothing on me. I don't know that. Come on, we don't pay you to be a Come on. I know, but I gotta... You gotta calm down. You can't treat the people... Pocket. You can't treat the people like they're criminals. I'm and, not treating you. And they're all trying to hurt you. Officer safety. You we we don't, we don't pay pocket. you for that. I need you to keep your hand out of your pocket. What are you gonna do if I don't take it off? I'm gonna detain you. He's gonna detain him for having his hands in his pockets. That means we're also gonna have to detain every single clothing company that ever assisted in that crime for putting the pockets in those pants in the first place. But a lot of you at home are probably wondering, is that even illegal? Police officers can't demand you to take your hands out of your pockets unless you are being detained. Before asking you to remove your hands, a police officer must have reasonable suspicion that you are armed and dangerous or criminal activity is afoot. So if a cop has reasonable suspicion, they can detain you and then have you keep your hands from your pockets. But this moron cop without any reasonable suspicion, is demanding that his hands be removed from his pockets or else he will be detained. This is cop logic at its finest. It comes down to ego. They want you to do something, and if you don't comply, they're willing to bend the laws to their whim. But I think we should do whatever these cops say, especially when they cite officer safety. We all know what a dangerous world it is out there for police and the perils that they encounter. Watch out for that acorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an acorn. It's dangerous. And actually has something he might want to show you. Okay. What I have to show you is very scary. That's I don't want your hand near your gun. My, my, hand, my hand is a good foot away from my okay. Are you sure? Yeah, as long, as long as you don't pull a gun or a knife, we'll be good. No, it's neither. Okay, so there, we're good. Some might consider it more dangerous than the nuclear codes. Anyway, he's got it. That is, that's terrifying. Oh! <laughs> he's hit! He's hit! Are you, I feel like he's acting like you're a vampire and that's a clove of garlic. That <laughs> is so dangerous. Officer, I'm not trying to scare the out of you, but boo! Oh my god, it's an acorn. Right. There are things but, scarier than a but camera. But now, but not the other is. I mean, try walking down the street. Well, he's got one for you. I'm going to slowly pull my hand out of my pocket. Please don't shoot me. But you want to see something scary? Are you sure? You ready? 
I guess. Yeah. See something scary. What is it? An acorn. So, arguably... Ready? 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 Okay. That did sound like gunfire. Officers, we applaud you and your safety. And thank you for being so brave. A recent survey shows the United States has just over 228 billion trees. There are about 90 species of oak trees which carry acorns in the United States. And with those statistics, I'm worried about acorns and officer safety 100% of the time. You're going to detain me. Yes. That's going to be legal. Keep your hand out of your pocket. Keep your hand out of your pocket. There you go. What's your name and batch number? 183. 183. 183, John. No weapons on nothing that knife is going to part me? I don't know that, man. All I'm asking is simple. Right here, I was detained and searched six times. Exaggerated. County Alpha. This man. officer was also disappointed to find out. Mr. Village so much? Later on, I decided it was orderly conduct of the Constitution protecting activity. This was all motivated by retaliation. What's your name, sir? I strongly believe that. What's your name, sir? So, what's your name? Do you have any ID on you, sir? That was Luzerne County Cop of the Month. Now let's jump into our next two videos from Not the End of Freedom. And this one took place at the Hazelton City Hall in Hazelton, Pennsylvania, and features yet another Hazelton cop. We'll see a few of them today. In fact, they're all from Hazelton. I think there's a trend here. A short amount of this video is also provided by Prove All Things Audits. Check him out as well. Not the End of Freedom was at the Hazelton City Hall in Hazelton, Pennsylvania. He was there to try and get a copy of a police report when he was confronted by this unhinged cop. Yes, sir. Uh, for an incident that happened on the 13th, I need a police report. What incident that happened on the 13th? On that uh, I was assaulted. Did this, was this already reported? Yeah, police was involved. Who's your officer? Uh, Babula, I think. Okay, you'll have to talk to him about that case. This whole video is designed to show you how scared cops are, and because of that fear, your safety is always in danger, because they consider their safety paramount. And you'll notice that this police officer, from the moment he met not the end of freedom, has not taken his hands off of his duty belt. You don't have to be so scared, officer. There's no acorns indoors. That's unless James Freeman brings one inside. So no one can discuss anything about that? No, only the investigating officer. What time he be in? Uh, he's on vacation till the beginning of August. So no one, I, I, I have nothing. Uh, if he's already investigating it, there's, there's nothing anybody I don't does. know if he's investigating because. Do you report it to him? Well, yeah, he was, he was there. He talked to you face to face? Yeah, but okay. he never contacted me and it's been what? already some days okay, and well, I haven't heard anything I'm, from I'm you sure guys that's not the only thing he has going on I'm sure he has other stuff to deal with too yeah but what about me what about me I, I need I need you can talk to officer Bobo, or sergeant what's your name ambassador back, okay what's your name ambassador 162 what's your name 162 that's your name 162 oh. now there's a lot of freedoms you have protected by the Constitution of these United States of America However, the police often appoint themselves judge, jury, and executioner of what freedoms you'll exhibit and how you'll exhibit them. And one way you can't exhibit them is by calling a cop an asshole. That threatens their tyrant baby egos. But with all the acorns out there, these cops are on edge, so I can see why this cop lost it. I watch your step on this. If you don't want to get arrested, watch your step. I told you what to do, okay? Go ahead, That's arrest me. Be it. Go ahead, arrest me. Arrest me. Leave what you gonna do? Hall. What you gonna Leave do? Leave City Hall. What now. you gonna do? I'm not you gonna don't want to do your that. job. I gave you. You don't like to do your job. I told you. What you need I to told do. you. Out. Go ahead, touch me. Turn around. Go ahead. You're assaulting me right now. No, I'm. The, Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Listen to me. Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Stop. No, I didn't stop nothing. I told you. No, sir. Listen to me. Listen. You own video, you know that. Property. So Fuck you. You. Turn around. You fucking broke my camera. You just broke my camera. Relax. Relax. 
I'm not resisting. You don't want to. Holy smokes, is that a meltdown? Listen to me! But that simple breakdown is very communicative. That whole listen to me in cop logic translates into I'm a cop. I will impose my tyranny on you. You will listen to me and you will comply. If you don't, I'm going to combust and you're going to go to jail. Freedoms be damned. You don't want to listen. I'm not resisting. You just broke my camera. 39162 County. I'll be out with that walk in. I'll have one male in custody. You just made a big mistake, buddy. Yeah. You just made a big mistake. You what you need to do. You just made a big mistake. He absolutely did make a big mistake. Just like the Hazelton cop in the first video from the other auditor. And some more Hazelton cops are about to even make a bigger mistake again with not the end of freedom. Let's check this one out. Miren a este, miren a este, nada más. The moment the Pennsylvania State Police and the Hazelton Police see this guy standing on a public sidewalk and filming, the first thing they go to is prior restraint. Prior restraint is not just highly illegal, it's also highly unconstitutional. It's when the government officials or police officers attempt to censor your First Amendment rights. Despite the Supreme Court ruling on this over and over again, cops continue to do it anyways. What's his name? Oh, I'm sorry, can you go? I don't know who you are. You, you don't need to know who I am. I know, but what are you recording? There's something wrong. I'm recording the pigs. These pigs. They're not pigs. They're trying to help. No, they're... Now, seconds earlier, this woman was giving these cops an earful for literally not doing their job. But the moment a cameraman filming them calls them pigs, she's their first defender. Because you see, there's only one thing worse than pigs. It's bootlickers. They will defend and explain their actions away, even when those same cops have already violated them. Pigs. They're trying to help me. So we're actively investigating a situation no, here. I don't, I don't care, man. So I'm in a public. She, she doesn't want. I'm in a public. I'm in public. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Interaction. But there I don't care. Me, so this is a stop blinding me. Stop. This is a stop putting them. And delicate stop situation. blinding me. So I'm going to ask you to leave. No, I'm not going to okay? leave. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm not going to leave. Or back up. You're not supposed to be recording audio either. Back up. You're not supposed to be recording audio, and this is the setup for his eventual arrest. And when they use the verbiage audio, they're referring to wiretapping. In Pennsylvania, the wiretapping statute states that electronic communication or any transfer of signs, signals, writing, images, sounds, data, or intelligence of any nature transmitted in whole or in part by a wire, radio, electromagnetic, phototeletronic, or photo-optical system except, deleted by amendment, any wire or oral communication, or any communication made through a tone only paging device now in many states like here where i live in massachusetts the wiretapping statutes have been repealed however in some states they still exist but there's a clear difference between wiretapping and engaging in your first amendment right wiretapping refers to audio only exchanges from person to person when it's not outwardly obvious that you're recording Basically, they're saying it's illegal that you record someone's audio only in a surreptitious or clandestine nature. However, the Constitution's very clear in your freedom to press. And there's nothing surreptitious or clandestine about this recording. Not only is it not audio, it's video, but it's noticeable to all parties involved.
But the question is, is it legal to film the police and their actions in Pennsylvania? Well, yes, it's legal to film the police in Pennsylvania. According to the ACLU, it is a constitutional right to take videos and photographs of things that are visible from public spaces. This includes police and other government officials performing their duties. But leave it to a cop to quote a statute that has zero applicability in your circumstance. Cop, okay, I'm backing That's up right now. If you're recording audio, someone who does not want to listen, uh, you to record. You don't know what you're talking about. You do not know how to, you're, what you're talking about. Okay. So you don't know what you're you talking to, about. You need to. You need to stop learn. blinding me. You need to learn. You need to stop blinding. What's your and, name and badge? And educate yourself. And educate yourself. Sometimes I really enjoy watching the cop logic come into play. It's totally clear to myself and all of you watching at home that the only person that has any education is the person filming, and the only uneducated person is the cop. However, it's the cop that tells the only educated person there that they need to educate themselves, while the cops have zero education and know nothing. They think that six weeks of training makes them all-knowing. What you name in badge? Super Diaz. Badge Super number 16419. 16419? That, that is correct. 12419. Okay, stop blinding me. You know that's a violation, right? We already told you to stop. You can stand over there. They have no. They have enough. So I'm in a public sidewalk. I'm, tell you I'm in a public sidewalk. She's asking. Um, this is the last time I'm gonna tell you. Or are you gonna get? Um, you're gonna get arrested. So I last, move back. Last time. Want, want I move back. Record. You can record us. That's fine. That's right. That's you, fine. Listen, I'm in a public sidewalk. Yeah, I'm in a public sidewalk. 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 What's your name and badge? What's your name and badge? Okay. What's your name and badge? Does not want to be recorded. What is your name and badge? So do you understand that? What is your name and badge? Okay. I'm asking for his name and badge. Put your money back. Okay, Trooper Diaz is arresting me right now. Shout out to DDDF for sending me these videos. And if you have a video of yourself or someone that you saw and you really want to make sure they get accountability, you can send it to me. In fact, the email address is streaming at the bottom of your screen right now. It's theafacrew at gmail.com. Again, theafacrew at gmail.com. Just like Not the End of Freedom and Luzerne County Cop of the Month, you should be interested in what the police are doing in your neck of the woods. As my good friend JC News now says, we pay these cops to be brave, not to be scared. It's bad enough their six weeks of training limit them to not knowing what any of your rights are, but put a giant amount of fear in them and they're absolutely dangerous. I mean, now these cops are ready to mag dump into you over an acorn. And squirrels around America are rejoicing that we're all standing up for them because they just want their nuts back. <laughs> Cops and their safety are pretty much equivalent to a squirrel just trying to get a nut. <laughs> Check out Luzerne County Cop of the Month and Not the End of Freedom. Their original videos and channel links will be in the description of this one. Don't be afraid to pick up your camera and film. But remember, over 280 billion trees are in the United States of America alone. And 90% of those trees are oak trees. That's a hell of a lot of acorns. So if I were you, and you wanted to be safe from the police, I'd go to your local store, get a chainsaw, and cut down every single one of those trees. And remember, no acorns were harmed during the filming of this video. Just a couple ego-bruised cops. And that's the reason I stopped you today.